Um, and depending on how you want them, how you want them organized, you would set them up by date. So in this case, this feed in particular is structured, I think, consecutively or reverse chronologically. I'm not. I don't remember exactly how. However. It is easy. And so, for instance, like for my purposes, you know, I put news items up on our site all the time. But when it's time for me to, to post stuff on our, for our e-newsletter, there might be one item that I want featured at the very top. And so what I'll go in is, is I'll just go in and I'll change the date that that news story was published to, the, like, today's date. And that will that'll bring that news item right back up to the top. Um, and so you'll see once you start kind of exploring around and using the, the, the news feeds and events, events are a little bit different, but once you start messing around with the news feeds, you'll, you'll get a feel for what's possible. Um, if you find that you want, like currently right now, um, all chapters have one news feed and one event feed. If you find that you want to kind of repurpose in a, in a, a news feed for something other than just news, let me know and I can go ahead and I can create a second news feed for you that you could use for purposes such as links to fundraisers or something else. Right now you only have one news feed, so no matter where you put it on your site, it's only ever going to show that one news feed. However, if you find a need for a secondary news feed, um, by all means, let me know, and I, and I can go ahead and create one for you. I'm sorry, what? Oh, sorry, I told my daughter to lock her door. Her daughter is going crazy, sorry. Oh, <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, so for news, I mean, it's really, it's, it's, it's up to you how you want your news feeds to look, what you want to include on there. If you find that you don't want a news feed at all, you can go ahead and delete that page. It's entirely up to you. Um, same goes for events. I'm not sure why this is making me log in, but I'm going to find out if, oh, I know why. <laughs> I forgot when I initially set all these up that the events were linking to the, uh, the groups pages. I'm going to get to this in a minute, so let me, I'm just going to go back though. Um, this is a perfect example of where the sitemap comes in handy. So, for instance, on the Texas Lone Star chapter page, I had hyperlinked the events page to go straight to the Texas chapter group. However, I don't want it to do that anymore. So I'm going to delete that, click Save, and go to the page. Now, this is the page. And I'm going to, and this is again a good opportunity to show you if you want to pull in that events calendar feed, you're going to just select it and then drag and drop it in. And there it is. The default gives you this sort of tacky little calendar here, and it will also provide you with a listing. I'll go in and, and modify this so that it looks sort of like the other calendar pages, but for the meantime, We'll just kind of leave it alone. Similar to the news feed, you're going to create a, a sort of title or event name. So let's, we'll just stick with the swab summer picnic theme. Select the date. So in this case, let's say, you know, the Friday before swab summer. And the event start date and end date is not how long you want it to be displayed. But how, like, if the event is only one day, you're going to put starts on the 24th and ends on the 24th. If it's a whole weekend, then by all means, you know, put the end date. But for this purpose, we'll just say the swap picnic on June 24th. Um, we're going to say it's 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. And there's two options here. You can do the a calendar announcement or an event with a detail page. If you just want it to be, when, I, when it says calendar announcement, essentially that's just a listing. So you would just put in, you know, for instance, in this case, say, like a location. Um, i trying to think. Washington Park, Groton, Connecticut, 
um, bring your own food. I don't know. <laughs> and then create. And in this case, as, as a simple calendar announcement, it's just going to be a basic listing. So any information that the event might have is what you'd want to put into this. Here we are, June 24th. So that's it. If that's all people need to know, then a calendar announcement makes perfect sense. However, if you have a calendar or an event that needs a more um, lengthy description, you would choose the event with detail page, which again, sort of like the news item, gives you an opportunity for a little teaser text and then provides you with another page of your own for more detailed information about the event. So we can do a little test here. And you'll see now that the title of the event is actually a hyperlink, bringing you to the actual event test page. To edit that event, just click on this little pencil. And it brings you back to these content blocks where you can go ahead and make any modifications that you might need. Any questions so far? I have one. Sure. Um, on something like this that you're showing us now, we're in Texas, and we're very far away from the sports as they happen. Um, if something happens, you know, we'll get on Facebook and sort of do the equivalent, I guess, of tweeting. Yep. Can you get some sort of a, mention something about tweet. Can you do a tweet feed on something like sports? Um, like if you wanted to do a tweet feed, or is this something that, are you asking if we offer something like this? Either way, um, could we have like one parent follow a, following a sport or at a sport and tweet updates on our website? Sure. Cool. Yeah, I mean, here's the cool thing about the news feeds. I mean, you, you could pull in, I haven't tried this yet, but you could pull in I believe you can pull in your tweet feed right into the site. Um, if you wanted help with that, I could help you with it. I've just never done it myself. Um, or essentially what you could do is you could use your chapter group. But this, the chapter group is a password protected area of the site. So if you just wanted it to be um, sort of tweeting sporting events, you could give them access to the news area of the site, and the news feed actually isn't, you can set it up as an RSS feed. If somebody wanted to follow it, they could essentially... What's an RSS feed? Does anyone know what RSS stands for? I never know. Or, I mean, like, is that just where anybody can input information, or...? Basically, what that means is if I, if I like, if I want to follow whatever you're posting, I can, I can follow the feed, the RSS feed. In this case, what happened is I clicked on that link and it opened up um, my Outlook box where I can follow RSS feeds that I've selected to follow. So in this case, whatever you post, oops. Every, you have to have your own RSS feed reader, essentially. Um, and we can actually, I can talk about this at a, with you uh, at a different time if you want, but um, it's for people who know what RSS feeds are, then they can very, they would, they would see this sign and be like, oh yeah, I want to follow this feed. Um, However, I don't think it would be a problem to insert, if you already had a Twitter feed, I don't think it would be a problem inserting a Twitter feed right to your page. And, and if you wanted to do that, please just email me or give me a call and we can work it out together. Okay, thank you. Um, 